question. So hang on, let's start. All right, this session is intended to show you um, how to skip the line and utilize our new um, system called One to One Plus. Uh, we started using it earlier last year for inventory and also for help desk tracking. And so it's got some built-in features that I just wanna review with you today. So just some background information for you uh, about our help desk. Right now it's fully staffed by four technicians and then I have backup supports that are available. We average about 200 calls or more during the start of school and then a little under 200 uh, once we're in full swing. So our phone lines are busy and if you've ever had to call them, um, you know that sometimes they, you have to wait. Um, and so this is intended for you to not have to wait <laughs> as often. Um, we resolve on the first call at least 65% of our calls and then the rest are delegated to other technicians or support staff that help assist on those types of issues that we're taking. And we're taking calls not only from staff and students, but also from parents. So our call volumes have increased dramatically. And then usually on the average, our calls are between five and eight minutes, just depending upon uh, what is happening in the situation. So hopefully it gives you a little bit of background information as to why we need to look into something that is more user-friendly for you and saves you all time. So what I'm gonna to introduce today is what's called One to One Plus. And again, this is a call tracking system that we're utilizing. It does inventory. And then this is where you'll have the option to input or submit online tickets. So what I'm gonna do is uh, walk you through what, that, what it'll look like. I have screenshots here and at the end, I will give you a link to the um, presentation. So you'll have this as well for future reference. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna show you one to one plus. And if you wanna uh, follow along, that'd be great. I'm gonna put the link on how to access One to One Plus in the chat. Um, so basically you'll go to, a, to this website, one to one plus.com forward slash login forward slash Fort Wayne underscore Indiana. And that will bring you to um, FWCS website specifically. Once you're there, you'll notice that you have the option to use a username and password to log in or to select the sign in with Google and authenticate. And that's the option that you would like, we want you to select. Now my screen might look a little bit different than yours, but you're gonna authenticate with your FWCS login information. And then from within here, uh, you'll land on a dashboard. Again, mine's gonna look different because I have a bunch of other options that are available, but what you're looking for specifically is the option on the drop down here called Help Desk and Add New. Sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> it's Submit Ticket, my bad. Once you hit the submit ticket, you'll notice that you have a number of different options that are available and they're de basically designed specifically for the type of call you're trying to submit. So keep in mind though, just a note about our of the help desk tickets. Um, once you submit those tickets, they are reviewed by a help desk technician, the four that I was talking about earlier. And it may come down to where they're gonna to have to contact you for additional information or just to keep you in the loop. Um, and so as much information as you can give them, the better. So I wanna specifically look at these different types. So we have uh, staff and student device tickets. So if you're specifically calling because you have an issue, your students or you with hardware or software requests, or you can't get wireless in your classroom, um, or any type of additional service needs, you would click this option. Uh, next would be password changes. 
So if you know that your password's about to expire and you can't remember how to change the password, you could submit that information um, that you needed to have here. Uh, same goes for any kind of forgotten password. Um, and that can be for anything specifically. It could even be for software. Next would be desktop phone support. So if you're having trouble with your phone in your classroom, um, on the desk, on the wall, uh, maybe in a conference room, or you need to have the display changed with uh, a different name, this is where you would submit those tickets for. We also have the option for audio visual. So anything AV that's related in, in your classroom, or that can also include clocks, bells, uh, the PA system, projectors, document cameras, screen beams, uh, those types of things. And then printers, um, specifically the Konica Minolta, those find me printers, or if you have a desktop printer in your classroom. And then the last one here, this help desk use, this is one that you will never use. It's really just these first five here that you see. So I wanna take you inside of what it looks like to submit and we'll kind of walk through this process here. So if I wanted to submit a device ticket, I would simply just click on the uh, staff device. Um, automatically by default, because I've logged in and authenticated, I it automatically pulls my name in here. You can change this. So let's say you're calling in regards to a student instead of you personally. You can just click this drop down menu and you can start typing in uh, the student's last name and or first name and it will auto populate and you'll see a list of all the students that have the name Hunter in them. Uh, you'll fill in the contact information and then when are you available? So if you want us to call you while during your prep planning time, this is where you would fill that information in or after school or before school. Then by default on the school and the room number, it would it defaults to the building that you're assigned to. And then if you have a room number. The device property control number, that's the asset tag number. So when you select your name, it, the system automatically knows which devices are assigned to you and it will populate those two devices that are in your possession or one device. So if you have an iPad or a laptop, those would populate here. And then the asset type is just if it's a laptop. Honestly, you don't have to, you can leave that blank. What's really important is to have that asset tag information. And then this is where you would type short description of the problem that you're having. So let's just say, hey, my wireless isn't connecting. So I could put that information in here. If I had a screenshot or a picture of what it is I'm trying to describe, you have the option to upload that information here. Then once you have everything filled in, you simply just click the save button and it will by default um, create your help desk ticket and it will assign it to our help desk team. Once you're done and your info is saved, you'll simply go back to your submit ticket form. And if you had another ticket that you wanted to submit, you could do that here as well. So under this password change, I'll just show you here kind of the same information, but we're specifically looking for uh, a description of the what's the issue um, and uh, that information. And then you simply just click the save button again. One thing to keep in mind, once you hit, it's important to hit that save button, otherwise it won't save. And then you will also get an email notification um, from one to one plus that says that a, create, a ticket's been generated for you on your behalf. We'll go through the same thing here under the desktop um, phone. Again, it auto populates your information. You'll fill in your contact info kind of the same thing and then a description of what it is you're looking for. Audio visual tickets, same thing. 
Again, make sure to hit the save button. Printer, again, same thing, and hit the save. And that pretty much is it. Um, the key, once you have your ticket submitted, is to make sure that you log out and it's simply like the exit door that you see up here on the top screen um, under log out. All right, that's pretty much the overview of it. It's pretty plain and simple. Um, I'm gonna open the floor to anybody that might have any questions. Um, we'd like to make this, it is active and available starting today. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to share that out with other people within the district so they too can utilize it or you're welcome to share that with your staff as well. I'm gonna stop sharing here. Do you ladies have any questions? Uh, will a link for this be, I'm sorry, will a link for this be on like the internet or should we share this link with our staff? Um, no, I ho am hoping to get that on, on the intranet or we will make that available, yes. But you can copy the link here and then I will also post the slide presentation that has kind of the same things that we just walked through. All right. 